right click and empty area on the desktop or if you have a touch screen you can press and hold that empty area and then select the nvidia control panel great so now you should see all of the nvidia settings so now go to the left and under where it says 3d settings click where it says manage 3d settings and if you don't see manage 3d settings go ahead and click that plus icon to expand those settings and then you'll be able to see it all right so this is what we've been looking for under where it says preferred graphics processor go ahead and choose high performance nvidia processor after that click apply and there you go after this point nvidia is now set as your default graphics card now if previously integrated graphics was being used instead you will see a big gain in performance after switching to the nvidia graphics card but wait you may be thinking is there a catch yes there is a small catch you may see a slight reduction in battery life if you choose to set nvidia as the default graphics card the best way to illustrate this is comparing walking to running if you are in a rush then it's good to run to somewhere you're going because you're going to get there quicker but if you're not in a rush and you are running everywhere you have to go then <laughs> you are going to be miserable so it's the same way your nvidia graphics is more powerful than your intel integrated graphics and uh, if you are using your nvidia graphics constantly without needing the extra boost in performance then your battery life may reduce so what you can do to get the best of both worlds you can set it as auto select so let your computer choose which one to use and when you absolutely do need the extra boost in performance so let's say you are playing a heavy game or let's say you are editing a video then you can set your nvidia discrete graphics as a default graphics processor and of course when you're done go ahead and restart your pc to ensure that those settings are firmly established 